uh, Wicklow County Council Joint Policing Committee. And this was launched at a public meeting in Roundwood Parish Hall on Wednesday night. So what's this about? How did it affect us? Well, the chair of the JPC is Councillor Jim Ruttle, independent. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning, Jack. How are you? Okay, thank you. So, you? what exactly do the Joint uh, Policing Committees do? And uh, this meeting, how is it relevant to us? Yeah, well, the, the Joint Policing Committees were set up under the, uh, the Garda Shikhan Act 2005. And in our case, it's made up a week of 32 members, 15 county councillors, the five week TDs, senior members of the Guard, superintendents of the respective districts, and seven representatives of the community and voluntary sector, you know? And there's also a steering group to facilitate the efficient functioning of the committee. It comprised of myself as chair, the chief superintendent, the chief executive of the council, Brian Doyle, and uh, his, his own nominee, Gallagher. So that's, that's the structure of, of the organization, you know, of the JPC, the Joint Policy Committee. Right, and you meet and decide what? Well, we, we uh, it's, a, it's a liaison group, a collaboration group between the Gardaí community reps and elected representatives where we can bring the... Uh, you know, the, the needs and concerns of the people uh, and the community we represent right through to the Garda Force and hopefully uh, inform policy on that. And indeed, the, the six-year plan is an extension of that again, you know? Okay, um, so you meet and are... Do you accept, say, submissions or, or suggestions from the general public? Or, or, oh, yeah, uh, well, well all, that, all, that, all that will emanate to the membership because... Membership are, are highly representative of the public through community reps and through elected reps and others. And it, it's all debated out in, in an open fashion. I mean, this, before this act came in, Declan, this was unheard of, where a senior guardie at all levels in the county, or any county in Ireland, would, would sit down with elected reps and community reps, and the fears and concerns of the people would be dealt with and put on the table. And I suppose one of those is tackling crime in rural areas. Yeah, exactly. Tackling crime in rural areas, it, 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 it's a, a, a fear among an awful lot of people. And uh, we have, you know, um, developed a number of things through our, uh, let's go back to the, the origin of the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, you know, the, 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 the plan. Uh, we held a meeting back in March <clears> of <throat> various interest groups, uh, a, a, a workshop. Uh, out of that emerged, uh, you know, four main areas of, concern, and they were policing communities, tackling crime in rural areas, drug prevention, and communications with, between the RD and, and the general public. So certainly tackling uh, crime in rural areas was, was a big one of those, you know? Mm. And uh, like we, 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 we have done various things and will be doing various things to improve that situation, you know? Because it is a concern to people. Now, in the area you represent, in, in West Wicklow, you've had some guard station closures. Um, yeah. Down yeah. Denard Way and, and whatever. Uh, so, yeah. you know, would there be any reversal of that? Is there a suggestion of that? Do, does it make much difference whether the station is there or not? Uh, if your service from uh, Bolton Glass or whatever yeah. and Blessington. Uh, what, what's the view there? Well, the communities would always feel, of course, that the actual physical presence, the visibility of a guard is hugely important. Uh, to people. Realistically, whether that's going to happen or not is another issue. So we as a committee and indeed the Garda, the Garda Force operate to make the maximise the benefits of those we have and the forces we have to uh, patrol and gain visibility uh, in rural areas, particularly a rural area like ours, which is very close to a huge urban area. We live in what, what we refer to like, as urban shadow, you know? Yeah, um, so uh, the fears uh, and suggestions of the public will be carried in through the representatives. Uh, through the representatives, the right through. And I mean, that, that's, uh, that has been, uh, you know, done. Uh, like we've established a subcommittee. You, you uh, develop a program to address isolation, security fears among older, vulnerable people. And the chief superintendent last night, for instance, indicated to me, Ian Roundwood, that every area will establish a, a charter, a, a list of like older, more vulnerable people who might be living in isolated areas or living alone who would be particularly uh, cared for, you know? Mm. So uh, this is a six-year strategic plan, so it's it's already, after last night's meeting, it's in force, yeah? It's in force, and a lot of the stuff, while a lot of the stuff that said certain things will happen at a certain time, most of it, by its very nature, is ongoing, it's continuous, because, remember, the, the JPC will meet about there's a minimum of four times a year. Two of those meetings that are public and two are committee meetings, but there could be others as well. So at all times, it's, it's completely monitored as to uh, how it is going, you know, and what's happening. Right, so the community having an involvement in mm. how, how basically... Well, the very next yeah. meeting in, in, in Roundwood is a very well-attended meeting with a very good uh, interchange of views on a, a variety of subjects, you know? 
Very good. Okay. And uh, people can find out more where? Yeah, well, I, the, the plan has been published now. It has to be available uh, to, to, to the usual sources, you know, to the Wicklow County Council, Trans the Leasing Committee. It, 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 it covers all those areas, you know, mm. and um, it, it, it's well worth uh, reading and seeing just how far-reaching it is and how many areas uh, have been explored in it, what will be an objective to achieve at all times throughout the working period of the plan. Oh, very good. Okay. Yeah. And you're chair of this uh, yeah. Joint Policing yeah. Committee, Councillor Jim Ruffle in bed. While you're there, Jim, can I ask you something? Uh, um, maybe you've got an answer, uh, um, um, maybe not, but it's about housing. Um, I was li- listening to Pat Fitzgerald recently. He was telling us about various plans, and they mostly centred around East Wicklow. Uh, you in West Wicklow, um, what, what is the housing situation, homeless situation, the yeah. shortage of housing? What, how do you view what's happening there? Well, it's, it, it's very, very poor. It's dreadful, actually. Uh, we have a, a, a situation where, if you want to talk about the, the two aspects of it, the public and the private housing, the public uh, housing list, we've hundreds and hundreds of people on the list. We have uh, two areas where we certainly would have uh, land available, uh, county council land available for, for building, as both at Blessington and uh, Dunlavin. And in Blessington, we have reached, uh, we have in the storage capacity. And at Dunlavin, uh, we haven't uh, a sufficient water supply. Now, they are issues which have to be dealt with by uh, Irish Water in the current situation. Uh, the council and councillors have had meetings with them to try to advance that. But without the infrastructural uh, supply of water and the availability of a storage system, uh, where it, 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 neither private nor public uh, can move in those contexts, uh, you know? Yeah, that's uh, so very, it's, very similar to Arclo then. You're just, yes, yes. Yeah. It, it, it's very poor. It, 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 in one town, it, it, it's the blessing and unfortunately an unlimited water supply and uh, that capacity storage supply. In, in the Laban, we have a new storage system and we have an insufficient water supply. Right, and you, so, I mean, Dunlavin and, and uh, Blessington, you're, you're on the Blessington Lakes almost, you know, so it's bizarre. Well, you see, the, the, water, the water supply at Dunlavin, there, is a, there has been for a good while a proposal that that would become an extension of the Blessington water supply, which is it's unlimited because of the pipe coming off the Dublin system. You just, you know, whatever you get, you take. But the proposal is to put a spur to, uh, you know, serve Dunlavin as well, take it to Dunlavin on that. But all these things take time. Meanwhile, people are in grave need of housing. Uh, rental situation is very difficult because of the law of supply and demand. When there's not enough supply and the demand is high, the price has become very prohibitive. It's very, very hard on people in, in these areas uh, to create a home for themselves and their families. All right. Thanks for your time, Jim. Good to talk to you as always. Thank you okay, very much, Jim. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Take, take care. Bye bye. That's Independent Councillor uh, based in West Wicklow. That's Councillor Jim Ruttle. And the strategic plan for Wicklow County Council Joint Policing Committee, where you will have an input into how you're policed, might be a good uh, idea to be able to say, we want our station back and things like that. But you can contact the Joint Policing Committee um, through Wicklow County Council for any more details or you want to have your views known. Now, it's just come in that the British High Court has ruled that uh, the British government, Theresa May, can trigger the UK's exit from the...